Christina, thank you very much for joining us and congratulations uh, for the list nomination. I'm sure we're very happy about it. Oh, thank you very much. I appreciate it. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, I think what would be great to start off with is if you could give us an impression of Health 2.0, which yes. you're the London lead. Yes. Um, and just give us a bit of an insight into what it is you do and what it is you're trying to achieve there. Yes. So thank you um, for welcoming me. So Health 2.0, it's a, a global organisation that was born in San Francisco about seven, eight years ago. And really just to, um, um, you know, around the growth of the world of digital health. So there are, um, because of that, because of the movement that started, there are um, uh, meetup groups around different cities in the world mm -hmm. started doing their own thing in their own city, like the London one. So we have over 100 health 2.0 groups around the globe, mm -hmm. which is great. Then the headquarters in San Francisco and then the, uh, the European office that they have set up uh, annual conferences that has hundreds of people, I mean in total they have thousands of people in all continents, really again to, 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 to kind of shape and have the platform to, to communicate um, the, new <coughs> the, new, the new startups or SMEs and the new trends within the industry. Mm -hmm. So the London group started about four years ago. Um, I've been looking after it for uh, two and a half years now. And we have 1,400 members. So this is 1,400 digital um, health innovators that come from all uh, industries. And really, we get together for events every six to eight weeks. But really, my aim with it is to, um, to have a platform where all the innovators can communicate, so it can generate mm. innovation. So we can have people that are, it's an emerging industry, so this is, I've built, um, you know, the, con the concept that I have around it is to have the platform for the community to exchange information and create and grow the industry within mm. UK and then all the other um, initiatives that I get involved with internationally for the same reason. Amazing. It sounds like it's one of the largest um, groups or meets of digital yes. health leaders, at least in the UK or maybe in Europe. Yes. What have you learned from um, that meeting of like-minded people yes. in a space that's very, very new? Yes. So, so yeah, that's right. It's the largest of the uh, digital health groups, particularly under the Health 2.0 yep. in Europe. Um, uh, actually, what I've learned is that people are very passionate about it and they really want to be part of the movement. We have physicians or healthcare professionals who really want to have the uh, new technologies making their life easier um, and you know, be able to help patients through, um, you know, through the new advantage that technology provides. Um, so this is what I've, what I've learned is that we need, um, we need this communication to happen, which is why I recently acquired this uh, the other website that we provide that will actually double the, co the, the size of the community and provide a global reach. And um, so that's what I've learned. Really amazing things have come out over the years. Um, for instance, you know, companies now that are growing, that are huge, that they got 15 million uh, pound investment. You know, we had them presenting a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is really good. And then companies, people that interact and connect through the meetings, and then they go and form companies at some, um, you know, some wow. stages. A couple of them. Oh, and we'll talk about the the company you just mentioned earlier. Yes. Uh, later on. Yes, um, but in, in terms of the London centric outlook. Yes. What what's going on in London? It, the health tech community yes. globally is quite fragmented. Yes. For what for many different reasons. Yes. Government included. Yes. So if we want to look at London and this and the digital health scene. Yes. Could you describe it to us? What's the what's the main vertical? What sets London apart yes. in that global context? Yes. So in London, we have a really great mixture of um, ingredients that we can make it to be the world leader in digital health. This is my personal point of view. So we have skills. We have a lot of skills. Um, uh, the skill set. We have professionals from all over the world um, living in the same space. We have funding. Uh, so there are VCs that are getting moving into the space. We have grants, so there is a very good environment. Um, so it's it, it's a case of putting it together. Mm -hmm. We have um, a lot of uh, companies that are doing focusing on platforms for for the healthcare professionals or platforms for patients, 
and people are now really getting really interested into you know virtual reality and artificial mm -hmm. intelligence and all of those things and a very interesting thing you see a lot of groups that are starting to come up you see the government is starting to give it importance NHS England setting up um, initiatives around digital health so I think it's a very very exciting time and we're in the right place and I think we can actually um, you know become world leaders mm. and are, are there any specific challenges that you're aware of or, the, or that your community are aware of um, such as um, sort of data rights holding information yes. um, any sort of pain points that you're having to get over so the pain points um, are I think because we fall up until now at least under the European law we're kind of okay with regulations um, we have some guidance on things that we can do uh, pain points are scaling up mm -hmm. right so this is it you might have the funding you have the product how do you validate it and how do you create a health economics case around it so it can be refined by the um, so it can be sold into the NHS or they refined it by the government by uh, yeah by the regulatory bodies so this is um, this is kind of the main barrier if you like as soon as it's one of the startups they become you know an SME and they need to um, grow and scale at a faster pace they move to the US this is the main issue that we have is that brain drain let's call it absolutely having um, what effect will that have essentially what needs to happen in the UK to, to stop or to conserve the SMEs yes. moving? So it would have to be um, an easier adoption um, by the NHS, adoption of the new technologies. There are now initiatives that are working on that, mm -hmm. and so that's great. And we need, I mean, it's a new industry again, and it's, uh, you know, healthcare is mixed in with uh, consumer care. So it's very difficult to set up the business model and the re reimbursement model, um, and it's a very fragmented environment as well because we have you know 200 CCGs mm. or the same number of trusts so startups have to go and knock a lot of doors to get their mm. product sold yeah. and adopted whereas in the US I guess you do a larger sale with with a smaller team so I think I think it's nice here now to, to move back into the company you mentioned I think it's Investec, Investec. Um, Innovate MedTech yeah yes and um, and you, the reason behind that, I imagine, was to grow the community and to yes. expose it to, to a wider audience, yes. something you've just mentioned. Yes. So can you talk to me about that and, and exactly what you're hoping to achieve with this? Yes, so what I'm hoping to achieve is to provide a platform for digital health innovators to communicate. Because uh, right now, uh, the meetups go under the meetup page. So really, there are um, a number of things that you can do. Um, I absolutely think it's needed that we have this platform, so really the aim is to be the LinkedIn of digital health, where you can, po you can find information, you can post your, um, you know, projects can be generated, so innovation, to foster innovation, and really we can, when you can learn about the industry. The main thing is for people to communicate and therefore, um, yeah, generate uh, innovation. Yeah. Uh, the, and then communicate with the rest of the world because a large percentage of this website is from the US and then we have um, some of the emerging countries as well so then you're creating a global reach for the London uh, community which is Absolutely. I think is great so I'm very excited to provide this to you. Um, one, one sort of final thought um, yes. is the health 2.0 network is, yes. is fragmented by nature yes. you're based in London or you've got HQ in San Francisco over time, as the digital health um, industry grows yes. and sort of creates a more homogenous platform, yes. do you think then that joining together those networks will, will be better for the global customer? Or, oh. or do, you think do you think fragmentation is necessary for digital health to, to grow? Oh no, I, I mean I think um, uh, being together makes you stronger, absolutely. I mean you always have to work within your geographical region but not these days. Um, I mean, what you can't find here, you might be able to find it somewhere else. So I absolutely think it's necessary to have a global platform where you can find whatever you want and you can go wherever you want. Because I mean, they do very exciting things in other places and it's something that you can always bring back here. Absolutely. So yeah, fragmentation is it's never a good idea. Mm. And, and, and sort of finally, what are you hoping to happen yes. 
yes. in, in this space in the next five years? Um, that's a very good question. So what I'm hoping to happen is that we are able to generate more SMEs, to have um, more experts from other fields coming into healthcare, into health tech, right? To make it, to bring the skill sets from, uh, from others and having more personally, having more women entrepreneurs. It's a still a very, you have the profile of the SME, it's in a specific profile. So I'm really liking the fact that young people in, and, and, and women are getting into, into the space because those are the drivers. Christian, thank you very much for your time today. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome.